We're going to go into Big Mike and Logan Paul as soon as she gets back. As soon as she gets back. All right, you guys ready? We haven't heard from our brother, Big Michael. Remember him from Impulsive? Very weird week for Big Mike. He's been traveling the globe with Lana Del Piss, the bowl woman. And Logan Paul has also been doing some devious stuff with his mother. Uh, these two guys are so sex-obsessed right now that they're horny around their own moms. And this is a little uh, expose, a thesis we're working on called These Guys Want to Fuck Their Moms, or they're, they're Getting Off Doing Sex Talk Around Their Moms. And I've seen this from a few different people, but Jake Paul and Logan Paul have been doing this for years where when they publicly talk about sex with their mom in front of people, it like almost turns them on. I think Nerd City talked about it in his yeah. Jake Paul doc. Yeah, my friend Nerd City, who's uh, uh, you know a big guy about this stuff, and uh, Big Mike does this too, and there's a few others. They almost get a corporate kick, uh, a horniness, a, a boost of serotonin when they talk about sex with their mom. I think I'm going to show you a Big Mike first. Sitting with, uh, remember, we met Big Mike's sister, Big Dyke. She's this big horse-looking Beaumont horseman figure version of him, but a girl. And then we met Big Mike's mom privately. We're going to introduce you to her. She's uh, very similar to the mom from Requiem for a Dream. Oh, oh. my God. Just imagine you're at a Jesus, Kanye concert. Please. Our so Big Mike's mom is very similar to the mom from Requiem for a Dream. Okay, remember? Oh, Harry, it's the reason to wear the red dress. Oh, Harry, I'm going to be on television. She's one of these out-of-it, stupid old lady moms that isn't quite there. What a shame to have one of those. I got a with-it mom. I got a mom that you could talk about common, everyday stuff. She doesn't go, oh, what are you talking about? Big Mike's got a grandma mom. Oh, Big Michael, stop with that. Now, he bought her a car. He bought her an Acura the other day. An uh, Audi, I thought. An Audi, okay, to uh, pay back, you know, the flex on his own mom. And she wasn't very grateful. She just was, oh, my God, you bought me this? Oh, come on, Michael. And that was it. You want the mom to be real. So we'll show you Big Mike. He brought Lana over to his mom's house because he wanted to flex on his mom by buying her a car. And then they start talking sex. Him and this Lana, you know, she's sucked on 60, 70 Oscar Myers taking down the big drink of lemonade in the big bowl, okay? And his mom has seen this. I don't think Big Mike's mom, as senile as she is, really likes this Lana Rhodes. Who could? If you've Googled her, you've seen what she's done to seven or eight men. You've seen what she's done to these seven felons. It's disgusting. So here is, uh, let's do Big Mike first. And we'll go to 5.15, but maybe we'll, you'd have to we'll start at the beginning and show you what's, what's going on here. And they're out by the pool. This is Big Mike's mom. She's got the wrinkled old lady lips. She's out of it. You cannot do porn. How do you feel about the fact that she wants dead? Time to clock uh, in. Right, so Time to clock in. Time to clock in. Uh, <laughs> 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 Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. Get out of that damn bed. Damn so here's Lana Rhodes. He's filming her bottomless here with her whole shit machine sticking out, you know, making Tootsie Roll right into the bed. So here she is. And uh, she only talks in baby psychotic knife talk. So listen to this. She really reminds not... me of one of like the Manson killer yes. girls who, like... yes. If you've seen <laughs> Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, you can see Lana Rhodes walking around talking like a TikTok clock or something. She's got the same personality as the sister from Devil's Rejects. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly that personality. You know, she's a psycho. Listen to this. It's amazing to watch her. Get out of that damn bed. You get out of the damn bed. I'm not in the bed. Get up and get ready. We have to get to Arnold's Lobster I Shack. I am up and I am getting ready. Babe, you have no pants on. Your cooter's sticking out. Oh, God almighty. You guys think a the night shit. And now they're talking to this little kid. You know, so it's kid related. We're going to jump to uh, 515 and we're going to get to this interview with Big Michael's mom, Big M. And you could, I put it in just that one yeah, specific part. No, but I want to go show deeper. The whole interview if you okay, want. so let's see. Interview with a uh, 
with a woman. And Lana Rhodes, so they're all outside. And uh, Big Mike's mom is going to be in one of the lawn chairs. And then Mike's in another lawn chair with Lana Rhodes right on his cock and balls. There's something going on. Some of these guys like they're it's weird. They like to like show off sexually in front of their parents when people are watching to like impress us. It does the exact opposite. And that's what we're here to show you today. The sickness that is involving sex with your parent. Watch this. Big love for sponsoring this video and let's get back to the night shift. I'm doing a very special segment right now called Lana Meets Mama. How's your experience with Lana been so far? She's a doll. We That's... love her, we'll keep her. Lately, Lana or Amara, depending on what channel you watch her on, has been asking me to do some adult videos. Right? No, what we you... haven't. No. no, she hasn't. She hasn't, but- See, you can tell the mom's like, I hate Lana. I hate that you're with her. Don't even tease me about this porn shit. <laughs> Because I actually do hate her, but I'm just being nice about liking her. So here's this old woman. How would you feel if she did? No, you cannot do porn. <laughs> no porn, Michael. No, no porn. porn, Michael. How do you feel about the fact that she once did? I, who cares? Is that really how you feel? Absolutely. How does she know what I did? How does she know Whoa. that I didn't? <laughs> oh, just, guys, yeah, this gets really sick. don't know about my mom. <laughs> The I'm late not. 1970s were a rough time for her. People do things. People change. Do you know anybody else who's done some bad stuff in their past no. and changed? <laughs> what do you think the right game plan for me and Amara is? You think we should start thinking about Just... marriage and kids sooner or No. What? Marriage mm. ruins everything. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what about babies? Down the road. You're too young. You have oh! a lot of things to do before Too that. young. 38 years old. Too young. She don't like this Omara, but she's been a nice mom. You know, my mom would never say she doesn't like a girlfriend that I bring by. So you could say if she, what about Wait, marriage? Why were you gesturing to me while you were saying that? <laughs> Don't ever put me on the spot in front of my radio guys. <laughs> All right, watch this. This gets worse. What about like accidental kids? I had one. Of, I had two of those. <laughs> Michael was, was the only planned baby. <laughs> oh, really? Believe it or not. Hey, there's one of the unplanned babies over <laughs> there. Ah, hey, Big Dyke, look at her stupid face. One of the unplanned babies. Hee haw. Like Adam Carolla's old production company, Jack Hole. That's what it was called. What a Jack Hole. We all met her. That's Big Mike's big ass sister. You need a ladder to eat her out. You need a fireman's ladder and a fireman's hose. Uh, okay, you got a kid back here, you know, which is unfair. There's porn stars shouldn't be around families. This gets sick. Listen to this. You're an accident. <laughs> Number three. Well, it was good seeing you, Mama. Oh, Mike, it's been too short. This Thanks is... for my car, too, again. I got you, Mom. Next car I'm buying is for this one. For which one? This one. No, I'm probably going to buy you a car. <laughs> yes. And I already have, like, three cars. Yeah, um, now we're talking. One last question. She yeah. wants to get John removed off her butt, and she yes. wants to get Mike my tattooed no. on her ass. What are no. your thoughts? I think it's good luck. No, it's not. Think it in it's Shamrock. <laughs> So she do doesn't want uh, Lana to get a big Mike tattoo. Mikey. So she doesn't want them to get married. She doesn't want them to have kids. No tattoo. She really doesn't want them to really be an official couple. She's okay with this now as long as big Mike's <laughs> making a hundred grand a year. And he's not doing heroin. But believe me, this mom's like, so we quit heroin. He's finally doing good. Now he's dating this prostitute piss bowl drinker. Big bowl of fucking... Gatorade being poured over her head like a dang coach, you know, so it's okay. It's better than heroin and the cops pushing you down on the cement, but it's still pretty bad. Instead of cement, it's cement. So let's see what happens next. This is where it starts really getting grody that I think is completely over the line. And if you joke about sex in front of your mom, it means you want to eat up. By the way, again, I watched a couple more of these mom son porns. Can we keep it to just fooling around with the mom? If you're, you don't want to eat out and fuck your mom. I've said this a million times. You know, you're watching a mom son porn. It's very unrealistic to see the kid want to fuck the shit out of the mom. It's like, no. Well, look at the guys we're seeing here. Maybe you don't that's what they do fuck, want. You don't want to eat out your mom. That's, I'll never believe that. No kid would want to eat out their mom. I can see why you'd want a hand job from your mom if you're all alone at some condo. Uh, and your mom's hot, here you go. You can close your eyes, pretend it's somebody else. But to eat out your mom, that's a whole different level of incestual behavior. And uh, I'm asking 
uh, these people, this family files and all in the family and all these uh, production companies that are making this porn, slow it down. Make the mom and son thing kind of more of a accidental thing. You're not, you know, they're fucking crazy. It's like you're <laughs> taking your mom's legs and jackhammering her. Your mom shouldn't have tattoos all over her body. <laughs> Let's take it easy. <laughs> So here we go. This is going to be some incest here. Watch this. And look what she look at her mouth. Even her mouth looks like a bunghole. So watch this. I think it's good luck. Mike is no, right. I think it ends Shamrock. <laughs> I don't think you have to go through that again. Here it comes. Then you'd have to get another name well, off. Well, Michael is a really common name though. So then you got to find another. <laughs> This is my third Michael. One of the other Michaels was a famous rapper, Mom. And then the other one Dick. is more into mattresses than girls. Yeah, one of her ex-boyfriends liked having sex with mattresses. Mattresses. So here's where it starts getting. One of her ex-boyfriends had sex with mattresses. You're not impressing us. Don't talk to your old... Your mom doesn't want to talk to you about this. And this is where it really gets dark. More into mattresses than girls. Yeah, one of her ex-boyfriends liked having sex with mattresses. 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 He was a very strange man. Here it comes. <laughs> Hi, I'm just gonna go in here with my mattress. <laughs> yeah. When I was like 12, I definitely humped a mattress or a blanket you or two. Did? Hey, quick. <laughs> when I was like 12, I definitely humped a ma You don't need to say this to your mama. <laughs> I'll never say it to mama. Say it to papa. She don't want to hear this. And this is where it starts getting loose. Now he's saying I used to hump the mattress. Listen, this gets even worse. You know, at this point I was saying, write it down, Jules, for the show. This is sick. But it even goes up another level. In here with my mattress. <laughs> yeah. When I was like 12, I definitely humped a mattress or a blanket you or two. Did? Hey, quick question for you. I always wanted to ask you. Listen. This. When you used to live above me when I was like 13, 14, I used to watch that channel that barely came in, the porn channel, where you would have to see it between the lines. Whenever I would jerk off at night, you would always wake <laughs> up. Did you know? Whenever I would jerk off at night, you would always wake up. Listen to this. Who used to live above me when I was like 13, 14? I used to watch that channel that barely came in, the porn channel, where you would have to see between the lines. Whenever I would jerk off at night, you would always wake up. <laughs> Did you know that I was jerking off? Oh! Uh, Are you sure you just coincidentally would always wake too up? Too fucking far! No. Michael, stop with this, with your porn star. This is your new thing. Yeah, I was going to say, at least this mom has the respect to be grossed out about it. At least when you were huffing into, oh, you were a funny figure. Now you're talking all this sex stuff. Get out of here with this. What do you want to fuck my wrinkled breasts? Is this every crease is a vagina for you, you sick fuck? No wonder they call you Big Dong Schlongman <laughs> from Schlong Island. You're acting like an East Coast Bona Patrolman. Stop with this. No, that I was jerking off. No, Michael. <laughs> Are you sure you just coincidentally would always wake up? This in the is too of the far. Night? Did you stop? I would just get scared. Yeah, I would stop for yes, five minutes. Yes, here's one. She, she to... knows this isn't her son. Yeah. <laughs> this is, and when you're 38, you don't do this. You know, at least Logan's 23. He's getting a kick out of it. Wait till you see what Logan did with his mama. The same week. And his mom is part of the problem. Yeah, his mom actually wants to eat him out. <laughs> she yeah. jerked off to a box. Ever seen a mother jerk off to her son's KSI YouTube match? <laughs> She's done it. She's fingered herself dry. That I was jerking off. Oh, Michael. <laughs> Are you sure you just coincidentally would always wake up in the middle of the night? Did you Look, stop? I would just get scared. Yeah, I would stop for five minutes until she went back to bed. And then I would <laughs> tell me this. There's enough horror stories. Just add it to the list. See, right, well, she knows that's even... Nah, this isn't the funny... I know... You know how when people get older, in your 20s, you start getting more open with your parents and you think it's funny? Don't go into that territory ever with them. Never, ever discuss pee-pee, pa pa poo poo dicky. I literally cannot even imagine in a million years. So this gets worse. Uh, we go to Encino. Let's go over to the Encino man, the it's new right Encino man, Logan Paul, and he's sitting with his unmaked up to retard Jose Canseco daughter, and this is his mom, Pamela. Pamela Loganson, and here's Jose Canseco's daughter, uh, who looks like some sort of totem pole all stretched out. Let's see what they do. Raise your hand if I've been inside you today. Uh-oh. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm late. Oof. Jeez, so their lower audio, this, it. Their audio's all out of whack. 
How do people I watch? Know, how would we watch this if we didn't have that Apple TV yeah. thing that like reduces loud sounds? We have whatever. an option on our Apple TV. It's buried in the settings. It's called reduce loud sounds on or off, and it basically puts a limiter, if you know what that is, on your audio so that all the audio stays the same volume. If you didn't have that that on and you tried to watch these vlogs, you'd go to high heaven. It's so even low. Even the richest vloggers, you got quiet. Ah! It goes it's insane. Mostly, they like don't understand how to put the music in. They'll be like talking, and they'll be like, it'll be like top of the head. And you're like, I got. Ah! Yeah, and, <laughs> and then, then it goes the music nuts. Music is like the loudest sound you've ever. Heard. It's really bad, and I you hear me complain about this. Nobody knows. So if you didn't have this feature on your Apple TV, you'd go nuts. So I don't know. Maybe that's why all PC users hate YouTube. Most of the people who like the YouTuber stuff that we play on the show, they're all Apple users. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Well. That doesn't line up. Okay, watch this. I ain't in bed this morning, and I hear like shuffling, so I look at my door, and there's someone's like throwing something under my door. And there's 52 cars, all of them say Paul on the back. Yeah, very funny. Okay, let's get to the mom stuff. Where do I uh, go? 225. 225. Wow, my old salary. Let's see what goes on here. Oh, there's Big Michelson. Ow, oh, fuck! Yeah, Mom, but... girlfriend. Okay, so he's doing a funny thing. Mom and girlfriend, and they're going to do a QA. and a And there's his mom, and his mom... She, I really think, listen, we joke a lot. I think she's really actually in love with Logan. It's called emotional incest. Who else did we find that did this? Blake Linder's mom? No. Blazenderry's mom. Blazenderry's mom. mom. Yeah, this that YouTuber. Guy? There's a couple moms, these YouTuber moms. She's divorced, divorced by the Divorced moms. Divorced mom. She sees Logan grow up. He's got the best body she's ever seen. So she's never been next to a better body. He's also rich, buys her anything she wants. He's funny. She's all alone. She's starting to fall in with the boy. And it's really turning in. And you should definitely watch that documentary that Nerd City made yeah. about Jake Paul because he has like a million clips throughout the years of this mom doing sex stuff with and, the boy. And let's take a look at that face. I mean, if you know, there's this term DSL, dick sucking lips. What's the opposite of this? Dick burning lips, <laughs> dick drying apparatus. I mean, come on, you put your dick in that, you pull it out, it's just a fish bone. <laughs> like a cat eating a fish in a cartoon. Uh, you don't want to put your dick in that, believe me. Okay, that is going to give you uh, a rash. So here's his girlfriend now, and she never wears makeup in the vlog. That's Jose Canseco. Jose, can you see... She's a nut. Uh, let's see what line of questioning he asks his girlfriend and his mama. Close your eyes. Raise your hand if you love me. Raise your hand if you love me. They both. <laughs> Raise your hand if you've seen me naked. Raise your hand if you've seen me naked. And now this is where the horniness comes in. Two non-blondes or two blondes here today. And this is what I mean. It's this. These guys get off on almost being sexual around their mom. I don't know what it is. But Big Mike was like the same thing. Raise Nerd your hand. Nerd in the chat just said, I had to cut the chapter down too because there were too many clips. Well, I know. This is really happening. Oh, shout outs to City. So, uh, yeah, this is happening. And she's really, I believe she'd she'd let it let it slip if they were in one of those party limos. You know, and it was the right mix of vodka and lighting. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Raise your hand if you like what you saw. Whoa, what? the mom. Have you ever seen me naked? The mom goes, yes. Raise your hand if you like what you saw. And then it goes up. And she's goofing around about the penile instruments of the sun. The butt, the penis, and the balls. The three parts the sun has that the woman doesn't have. And she craves them because, you know what? This is the closest thing she has. This is why I can't have a kid. If I have a daughter, she turns out to be hot, it's going to be a wild, you know, uh, mess through the court system for me. What if we have a son that turns out to be hot? Yeah, how do you resist? So she's in an unresistible area called, I got to do this guy. He's so dreamy. <laughs> what the? F That's backwards. <laughs> okay. That was weird. Raise your hand if you've done drugs. Mom, what the fuck? Raise a hand if you'd smoke a joint with me for the Maverick Club. Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah, so she's doing drugs with her son. She's getting high. They're getting experimental. They're doing ayahuasca. He's brushing her hair as she admits her biggest sins and uh, discrepancies. is pretty weird. I bet you Josie doesn't do this with Jose. He'd knock her out of the park. (laughs) We got to get the sound of a baseball getting knocked out of the park on the show. That's a good one. That would be expensive. Raise your hand if you'd let me have a threesome. Raise your hand if you'd let me have a threesome. And the mom's hand shoots up like the crypt keeper. And, uh, you know, the, the mom wants this lifestyle. Why not? She hasn't had anything like this. She hasn't had her world rock. I bet Jake went down on her at one of those uh, designer parties. Oh, for sure. The rapper designer. And Jake probably did the number on this mom. Don't put your hand up. <laughs> Raise your hand if I've been inside you. Wow. Mm, you really did that, Logan, didn't you? Raise your hand if I've been inside you today. <laughs> I hate you so much. Wow, <laughs> that's a sexual. <laughs> I just want to see how connected we are. Is that it? That's too far for me. Haba, come temple, hop. I got to go to temple. Same. Tell the rabbi what I've just seen. We should do that where once a week I go to a rabbi and go, I got to confess my sins. Do you and confess t- stuff to a rabbi like oh, a Catholic? Of course. I don't of know. course. Oh, yes. I confess every day to a rabbi. Uh, so there it is. Logan Paul and Big Mike both love mamas. And they seem to get off, even if they don't want to fuck their moms, I think they get horny saying this stuff to their moms with people watching. They like the openness of this whole extravaganza. And remember, we, uh, Greg Paul and that guy Mac, is that his name from their show? Yes. They're having barnyard uh, (laughs) ranch sex with each other as old people. It's really weird. Really weird stuff. But they're really in love, so. Yeah, that's okay.